Hello and welcome to another Project HBC tutorial. Today we're going to be dealing with Max MSP and we're going to be building a frequency modulating synthesizer. So we'll head straight over to the Max window, click on File, New Patcher. Opens up the New Patcher window. A few shortcuts today. N for new objects. So first thing we want to do is build a case slider. So that's click N and just type in there case slider. That gives us our keyboard ideal starting point. So the outlet's on the keyboard. On the left hand side, that's your uh, pitch and MIDI values. And on the right hand side is the velocity. So we want to change these two values so that they can be dealt with in frequency and amplitude. So first thing we do is N for new object. And we want to build a MIDI to frequency exchanger. MTOF. And we link that up to the outlet of the MIDI value. And on the other side, we need to divide the value coming out here by 127, which is the highest available value of the output. And we want to make that a value between 0 and 1. So new, N for new object again. And simply type divide by 127 point. That gives us a floating point number value. Link that up. Okay, so now we need four floating point number boxes. So just click F. Give this a little space. And these are going to be our carrier frequency, our modulating frequency, our modulating depth, and our amplitude. So what we can do straight away is link up the MIDI to frequency value into the carrier. And we can link up the amplitude to the floating number box. Just straighten that up. So if you hit C that brings up a new comment. I'll just I'll just label these number boxes. Carrier for carrier frequency. Alt and drag just brings the same box up again. And rename it. Same again. That just gives us a an idea of what these values are for. Okay, so what we want to do is now we're going to deal with the modulator and modulating depth. So we bring up a cycle object, which is a sine wave generator. So click N for new. Cycle tilde. When it comes up, you just click it. And we feed the modulating frequency into that cycling cycle object. Now we want to multiply that with the modulating depth. So we bring up a new object multiplication sign and put the tilde in for waveform so we're going to be dealing with signal data here so we add the modulating depth with the output of the cycle frequency and they are multiplied together in that object we want to add what's generated here to the carrier frequency to create our frequency modulation so that's new addition, signal addition, that goes in the right hand inlet and the carrier frequency goes in the left, just straighten that up a little. Now the output of this addition we want to feed into a cycle object, we want to have a sine wave again, so new cycle tilde, that gives us a sine wave generator. Now, I'm going to head, head over to the amplitude section here. Now we have our value. If we lock it up, we can see the values that are coming out when we click on a key. So we're getting values between 0 and 1. Obviously, the higher up the key you press, the higher the value will be, up to 1. 
So what we want to do is feed this value that's coming out of the number here into a message box. So click M for message. And within the message box, type dollar one, which means the variable that coming that's coming in the first inlet. And then the next value we're going to type is milliseconds. So we're going to type 60 in there. We link that up. So we're going to feed these into a line signal. So that's new n for new object, line signal. And we feed that into the line signal. Now what the line does is it ramps two values. So it'll ramp $1 is whatever the variable is, which is this number here. And it'll ramp from zero to this number by the amount of time period you've suggested in here, which is 60 milliseconds. So we feed this into a multiplication object. So click new, multiply signal. And on the left, you're going to put the signal that we're getting from the frequency. And on the right, we're going to put the line, which serves as amplitude. So what we want to get here is a gain object. So new gain signal. These can all be resized, of course, to the, the desired size. So I'll put that over here. So you want to hook up the multiplication object to the gain signal. And now the last thing we need is a digital to audio converter. So we just hit new EZDAC, which gives us the EZDAC. And we hook up the outlets of the gain to the left and to the right. Now to tidy this up, if we hit Alt, hold it down, highlight everything, that highlights only the, the, the patch cords, and then we hit Control, Shift and Y. That tidies it up a little bit. So now we're good to go, let's give it a test. So we lock up the patch, turn up the gain, turn on the easy DAC, and you can tell we've got our frequency straight away. Now we add a modulating frequency, say 4 Hz. And we add a depth to that. These are totally adjustable. And that was the very basics of frequency modulation. It's been another Project HBC tutorial. Stay tuned.